Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Shanika and today I will be getting you through a yin yoga sequence for sleep. So this is going to be a very well-rounded practice, a practice that's going to feel very, very deep, very introspective, um, a great time to reflect on your day and to set yourself up for a good night's rest. So I do hope you enjoyed today's practice. I'm not using any props, although using a pillow, if you have it handy, um, can be quite comforting. So we will go ahead and get started with our first posture, which will be swan. So finding your tabletop position, we are going to take the right foot and step it through. And from here, you're going to shimmy your right foot all the way over behind the left wrist and set your shin on down to the mat. So you want to make sure that your knee is outside of your hip and then take a look over your left shoulder and extend that back leg back. So if your right hip doesn't come to the floor, you can take that pillow and wedge it underneath there. Of course, square off your hips towards the top of the mat, find length. And on the exhale, fold forward any amount. So the key in this posture or in this pose is to allow everything to soften. So let the belly go, let the belly be soft. Notice if you're tensing the muscles in your face and allow, allow the jaw to soften. Allow the shoulders to melt away from the ears. Maybe you've begun to open up a little bit more. You can open your elbows out wider. Maybe reach your hands towards the top of the mat. Nice deep breaths. Coming into our last few breaths here, making any minor adjustments to allow yourself to go deeper for these last few breaths. Maybe you tuck your left toes under and inchworm your leg back, finding more length in that left leg.
Take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale, fill up. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently lift the gaze. Push into the palms. Walk yourself all the way back up. You're just going to lean your weight into your right hip and swing that left leg forward. Bend both knees. Bring your hands behind you. And just let that air out before we come to the other side. If you want to windshield wiper the knees from side to side. And we'll set ourselves up to do the same thing on the other side. So finding that tabletop position and bring your left foot through. You're going to shim your left foot behind your right wrist and set your shin down. Look over your right shoulder and extend that right leg back, untucking the toes. Fine length here, square off through the hips. Inhale, and on the exhale, fold forward any amount. And if you notice that one side is different compared to the other, it's completely normal. We are asymmetrical beings. And in fact, my left side feels a lot tighter. Remembering to allow the belly to be soft. There's no gripping in the glutes or the legs, the jaw. Noticing those subtle, subtle openings of space. Maybe walk your arms out wider. Reach your fingers towards the top of the mat.
Coming into our last few breaths here. Again, making any minor adjustments to allow yourself to go a little bit deeper. You can always tuck your right toes under and shimmy your right leg back, finding length in the right leg. Take our last two breaths, nice big inhale, fill up. And side out. One more inhale. And exhale. Let's go ahead, push into your palms. Lifting the gaze, coming all the way back up. Swing that right leg that's out behind you, out in front of you. You can keep both knees bent and just sink back into your shoulder girdle for a moment. Very gently, windshield wiper your knees from side to side. And we will set ourselves up for our next posture. So from here, you are going to extend your left leg straight in front of you. You're then going to bring your right foot and you're going to bend the knee back so that you've created an L shape with your legs. You're going to square off, so you're going to bring your sternum in line with your left big toe. Find a nice big inhale. And on the exhale, gently walk yourself forward. And again, if you have that pillow, you can place the pillow on top of the leg.
maybe you want to stay here maybe you're looking for a little bit more you can bring yourself to the inside of the left leg i know it intensifies the stretch on the inseam of my hamstring just a little bit more Last few breaths here. Take our last two breaths, a nice big inhale. And side out. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently push into your palms, walk yourself all the way back up. If you had the right knee bent behind you, bring it back out in front of you and extend both legs straight. You can lean back. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So this time the right leg is forward and you are going to bend the left knee back. So keeping in mind, if you cannot bend the left knee back, you can always bend the knee in towards the groin that way. So extending the right leg straight, bending the left knee back, finding that nice L position with the legs, square off your sternum with your right big toe, find length, and fold forward any amount.
to stay where you are, or maybe you want to fold to the inside of the right leg. Coming into our last few breaths here. Your last two breaths. Nice big inhale, fill up. And side out. Again, inhale. And exhale. Very gently push yourself all the way back up. Extend now the left knee that's bent behind you out in front of you. You can bend both knees, wrap your arms around your knees, and just rock from side to side. Setting up for our next posture. So if you have your pillows or you're doing this on the bed, it would help. Maybe you can stack two or three pillows behind you. Go ahead and push your toenails into the floor and then go ahead and move the fleshy part of your calf to the side, making space for your bum so your bum is on the mat and not on your feet and your heel is hugging in towards your hips. Bring your fingertips behind you, pick up your hips and then Tuck your tailbone under and set your hips back down. You can stay just like this if this is enough for you or coming all the way down onto the mat. What I like to do is I bring my arms up above. Sometimes giving a little squeeze to the glutes increases the stretch in the hip flexors. But it's not something you want to be tensing for the whole pose.
coming into our last few breaths here. Let's take our last two, two breaths, a nice big inhale, fill up, and sigh it out, one more inhale, and exhale. If you're all the way down onto the mat. What I like to do is I grab onto my heels, I push up onto my elbows, push up onto my palms. Rock forward. Find yourself in a tabletop position. And just let that air out. Maybe you shimmy your hips from side to side. So from here, we will be making our way into a child's pose with a twist. So opening your knees as wide as they can go for you and sending your hips back into the saddle you've created with your feet. So it should feel really nice to fold forward after we're reclined. So extending your right hand forward and just very gently bring your left arm underneath the right. And you want to make sure that you're drawing your left shoulder away from your left ear, bringing your left temple to the mat. we've come halfway let's go ahead and switch sides so pushing into the right hand remove the left arm from underneath you extend the left arm straight and weave the right arm underneath the left right temple to the mat
Coming into our last few breaths here, weaving or removing that right arm from underneath you and extending both arms straight in front of you, bringing the forehead to the mat. Let's take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Push into the palms, lift the gaze come forward and we're just going to come onto our bellies and onto our backs. Drawing your knees in towards your chest, you can rock from side to side. Maybe dropping both knees to the right for a brief moment and gazing to the left. Bringing the knees back to center and dropping both knees to the left, gazing to the right for a brief moment. both knees back in towards your chest. Let's curl into a nice tight ball here. You can grab a hold of the knees, around the knees. You can grab a hold of your ankles, squeeze into a nice tight ball for three. For two. Nice big inhale here. And on the exhale, release. Extend your legs out wide, arms out wide for your Shavasana. Unless, of course, you're doing this in bed. Just taking these last few moments here to give thanks. Showing some gratitude for your day.
feeling free to stay here for as long as you like. I do hope you enjoyed this practice. I hope you get a good night's rest, and I will see you back here again soon.